Greetings again. Uh, I wanted to give you a little update on how things are progressing on the horse racing and greyhound strategies that I've mentioned in the earlier videos. It's been about a week since uh, I last uh, spoke to you, so we'll see how things are going. We'll start with the horse racing, which I um, mentioned most in the, in the last video. Um, so we can see here the favourite money staking bot. This has been running since uh, Friday. It's Thursday today, so it's... Um, it's had six days worth of activity there, and it's made thirteen dollars nineteen cents, which uh, which I'm quite happy with, uh, considering it's chasing. Um, uh, it's starting at a fifty cent stake, and the profit target is twenty five dollars. In that, it hit a stop loss uh, early on. The Friday that it started on wasn't a great day for it. Um, didn't run it Saturday because, as I mentioned in the last video, the Saturdays just don't work with that because of the higher quality of racing. Restarted it on the Sunday and it hit, it did eventually hit that stop loss, uh, I think two or three bets into the day. Since then it's recovered. It's had um, a profit target hit on Tuesday, profit target hit on Wednesday, and it's up by that little bit at the moment, which um, is following the profit target being hit, it's, it's come down just a little bit as it's going through the next cycle. That's pretty much where I expected it to be. Um, it does tend to, when it hits those profit targets, exceed them by a bit. So even though they're half of the value of the stop loss, they do tend to um, recover from a, a loss pretty quickly. So in this case, two profit targets hit, it's up by $13. So that's that's good got it continuing so we'll see how it continues to go. The laying strategy on the horses between two and three dollars has been running since Thursday so it's had a week worth of activity and there we go $27.25 in profit there. So uh, happy with that in fact that's that's met the uh, profit target uh, exceeded it just a little bit of $25 where I've got the bot stopping um, because I've got it organised in a way where uh, the tabs are set to have their own individual profit targets and yeah, it's, it's actually about that pace roughly. There, it manages to hit that level of 50 cent um, original stake uh, in about a week. So that's, yeah, happy with that. Slow and steady and, and that works well. Now, the Greyhounds have actually made a little bit of an adjustment. Uh, what I did have there with the... Um, with the, the odds range for laying the Greyhounds, the third and fourth favourites, it was working, but it was a system that was going to require a fair bit of patience. It had these very large, very long periods of going down and then coming back up. Um, down and back up, I'll keep my hand in, in frame. Um, if you have the patience for it, that's fine. It, it, was, it was quite clear that the the bad days would take it down pretty quickly. Most days were break even, maybe coming up slightly. The good days, it would go flying up there. So if you had the patience to wait for the good days and the bankroll to deal with the uh, the drawdown on the bad days, yeah, it, it'd work fine. I'm not quite as patient as that. Um, I'm happy to, to wait a, a day or so for it to, to recover, but I don't know, yeah, three or four or five days waiting for it to actually recover and, and hit some profit. Yeah, it makes me nervous and I'm not patient enough for it. So I decided to try something a little bit different. Uh, I ran some numbers on the Australian Greyhounds. Didn't run the numbers on the UK Greyhounds because it, it was just easier with the data I could quickly access to do it on the Australian ones. Um, and I pulled the odds range down to anything below $8. Now, eight dollars is a is an interesting figure with the lay pro staking strategy because at eight dollars, if you have a loss, your recovery cycle breaks even. Um, so you ha you have your fifty cent original stake or whatever you've got it set to. You have a loss, so you lose an amount there, which uh, is probably about five dollars. Um, you go up to a dollar in the the staking. And you come back down 90 cents, 80 cents, 70 cents, etc., until you get back down to 50 cents um, through the, the recovery. And at $8 odds, you break even with that recovery cycle. 
Anything above that, you don't. You need more wins to, to break even and, and turn a profit. Anything below $8, the recovery cycle turns a profit. Of course, below $8, the runners are more likely to win, so a little bit of a dangerous strategy. But when I ran the numbers, I was surprised. Uh, I saw on Australian Greyhounds, third favourites running $8 and below had about an 83 to 85% strike rate, depending on the day. Fourth favourites were sitting at about 90%. Now, when I say strike rate here, I mean in terms of the laying strategy working, so they, they lose by that percentage. So most of the time that was going to turn a profit. Um, I've been running this since Tuesday morning and I did let it loose on the UK dogs as well. And the pattern I'm seeing is, is kind of interesting. So let's have a quick look at the UK, uh, at the dogs. So right now it's, uh, if we have a look at the time, it's uh, Thursday right now, Thursday morning. Um, we can see those are the results at the moment. Now, third favourites have made $5.67. Fourth favourites have made $49.17. The interesting thing to note here is, one, we've still got uh, just under two hours of UK dog racing left uh, for, the, for the day. And the system is actually in a recovery at the moment with the UK dogs. First morning, the, the early hours... Um, early hours Tuesday morning here, the UK dogs just took off, made $40 on that first first morning. Um, <laughs> hello. Sorry, we've got, we've got visitors. Hello, Shiley. And Pebbles over there. <laughs> say hello, Shiley. Say hello. You say hello? You say hello? There we go. All right, there we go. Yes, hello. Good morning. All right, good morning. <laughs> They've woken up. It's 7 a.m. <laughs> um, is that a say? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. Good girl. Good girl. All right. So, um, so the, the, when the, the Tuesday, early hours Tuesday morning, uh, made $40. The Australian dogs then had a uh, not so great time, uh, and it, it went down a bit. The Wednesday night in so Tuesday night and Wednesday morning Australian time for the UK dogs. Yeah, sort of break even. It recovered a bit, then went down again. Um, yesterday, the Australian dogs did reasonably well. Last night, the UK dogs went down again, came back up again. This is for the third favourites anyway. That's It's very much a roller coaster, but because of the recovery cycles I'm seeing, it doesn't have to get back down to the original staking, and it, it kind of takes off in profit. I mean, it'll go down again. But it'll come up again. Bit of a roller coaster in the third favourites. The fourth favourites have been consistent. I haven't seen them go down. They just go up. Uh, sure, there's a, a handful of losses here and there, but on a day by day basis, it's just going up, up, up. It's it's slow and steady. But I mean, I say it's slow and steady, but yeah, forty nine dollars in a few days. I'm, I'm certainly not complaining about that. It's, when I say it's slow, it's uh, slow in comparison to the volume of bets on the third favourites. The third favourites, there's just a bazillion bets. Um, there's quite a few in the Australian dogs. There's a, there's almost every race in the UK dogs. It's, it's quite, um, quite an amount. With the Australian dogs for the fourth favourites, there's not much volume. There's a little bit, and it does all right. Um, but you can be waiting two or three hours between races sometimes to actually get any activity. The UK dogs, fourth favourites, there's a heap of them. Now, generally UK runs smaller field sizes, maximum of six runners compared to the maximum of eight on the Australian uh, dogs, so it makes sense that you'd have more fourth favourites under $8 on the UK dogs, and it's working. So, as I said, I'm not overly patient with this. I like things to just work. I'm happy to deal with a little bit of a roller coaster, but uh, eh, I don't know. I mean, here we go again. I mean, twelve ninety-seven now on the third favourites. You know, that where was it? Eight dollars when we looked at it a moment ago. It's coming up. It's doing well. It's a bit more of a roller coaster. I'm sure it'll go down again. Maybe not this morning. 
the end of the day with the UK dogs tends to do pretty well with the third favourites. Um, so that, that evening racing in the UK. But um, the, the, third, the uh, fourth favourites, that's doing well. And I'm quite happy with those results. So I'm actually going to go in here and just check. Do I have anything running at any bets in place? I do. There's one at Romford. So uh, that was at 7.08. So that should result shortly. I'm going to wait for the... I'm going to wait for that race to, to finish. Actually, hang on. That's... Looking at that. That's a... That's a uh, fourth favourite. It's in the late one strategy, so that's there. So I'm going to quickly, before we get any further movement, the late two, the third favourites. I'm just going to stop that there. And I'm just going to leave the fourth favourites running in lay one. You can see my settings here. I'll just uh, show you there. So, so it's, it's kind of the same thing. We're, Basically, minimum price two dollars, maximum price seven eighty. I don't really care what price the favourite is. In fact, I'm not even trying to keep a gap between the first favourite and the fourth favourite. It's you know whatever price you get, as long as it's below eight dollars. I've got the maximum price here set at seven eighty, so that if the prices move a little bit when the the bot is placing the bets, it might still get an eight dollar runner there. It's not going to get an eight twenty, but it should. It might get an eight dollar. Set it at 780. That's fine. Um, and yeah, we'll leave that leave that to do its thing. Now, one other strategy that I'm working on. I haven't gone into this yet, and I'm not going to go into much detail yet. I'm working on a strategy for uh, soccer betting as well, using the correct score market on the uh, another LayPro system. Um, at the moment, it's been running. Let me see. Since, um, uh, since since Tuesday, so you know weekends are obviously the peak period for soccer, so there's not going to be a lot of activity through the week. But uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's now Thursday, so we've just had a little bit of activity today, and it's sitting at a uh, dollar and two cents of profit, which uh, which I'm happy with now. I'm still working out some of the details on that, so I'm not going to go too much into detail on it right now. Uh, but I, once I've had some time to work with it, and I really want to see how it goes over the weekend, um, then I'll, I'll come back to you with some more details on that, and we'll see how it's going. But at the moment, it's doing roughly what I expect it to do. So hopefully, next week, I'll be able to bring you some, uh, some details on a soccer strategy that you might like. But in the meantime, I'm quite happy with the way the... Uh, the horses are going, the way the dogs are going, um, happy with those settings, so I'm going to leave that and let them run for a bit longer and see how things go, and uh, I'm sure I will talk to you again. Bye.